now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. About six hours until we begin the astronomical start of winter, winter solstice at 4.02 a.m. starting tomorrow. And tomorrow will be the shortest sunlight of the entire year as we start to see some gaining of it. Eight hours, 49 minutes and 28 seconds. Our sunrise will be at 725, our sunset at 415. And talking about sunrises, we had one pretty nice this morning. Lots of clear skies. It's nice to get a break from that cloudy weather that we've dealt with for quite a bit of days in the last week or so. But clouds have been building in here, as you can see, towards the end of our time lapse. And that's ahead of our clipper that's been moving into the western part of the Badger State. Right now it's 28 degrees. We've got a light wind out of the southwest ahead of that front. And it is feeling like 20 because of that southwest wind. Across the rest of northeast Wisconsin, we've got 25 in Pembine, 29 in Sheboygan, 27 Appleton, Oshkosh, uh, even in Clintonville, 29 in Shawano, 24 in Anago. Winds coming in out of the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour this evening, and that's making the feel like temperatures feel anywhere from the upper teens to lower to mid-20s, but where there are some calmer winds, you're not seeing much of that wind chill factor. But looking at this map, it's not that bad considering the time of the year that we're in right now. Radar is showing a little bit of some snowfall starting to build in towards Watoma and Princeton, but likely not reaching the surface just yet with some dry air in place. It'll take a little bit of time before we actually do see the snow reach the surface. And if you're watching us in my first forecast, I was talking about that dome effect around the radar. You can see how the snow was moving right over the Twin Cities. It doesn't seem like it even hit it. That's what it means is that there is some drier at the surface. So closer you get to a radar station, uh, lower the radar scans are towards the surface. So you're able to see if that snow is actually hitting the ground. And as we get to La Crosse, there's another radar station showing exactly the same thing. There's some dry air right along the surface. And the data, latest data showing that closer towards the UP of Michigan has the best chance of seeing maybe an inch or two. Farther to the south, we'll see a quick drop off of any accumulation. The center of low pressure is moving right across the Canadian border and the U.S. border. Now we've got another area of low pressure that's going to be making its way across the Pacific Northwest. That's the system on Wednesday we'll be monitoring. However, the latest trends with that system is shifting it farther north. So this is not good news for those of you who want a white Christmas. Three and a half inches of snow so far this season. We're over nine inches below the normal for this time of the year. The lowest amount of snow since 2015, where there was only two tenths of an inch of snow at this date. So as we go into the rest of the evening and overnight, we start to see a little bit of some light snowfall building in here from the west. You see more coverage farther up towards the north and farther down to the south, very minimal. Now, as you get into the late morning and early afternoon, temperatures start to rise up into the mid 30s. So that snow will start to transition over to a little bit of a rain snow mix. But the moisture will linger as we get into the later afternoon and early evening. So we'll still keep the chance of a little bit of a sprinkle or a light snowflake mixed in. But in terms of accumulations, the majority of which will be occurring before we start to warm things up by the mid morning hours. That is, we get into Tuesday, could break into a little bit of sunshine before clouds build in before the system on Wednesday. So accumulation wise, the dusting to an inch pretty much along, I would say from kind of north of Fond du Lac up towards along the Highway 29 corridor. And then north of that, looking like about one to two inches of snowfall with maybe a localized area in the far north woods picking up some higher totals. So let's turn the page into Wednesday's system into Christmas Eve, which is Thursday. We'll have an area of low pressure Right now, and really the last couple of days, we've been trying to figure out how this storm is going to evolve. And there was two little pieces of energy, one down to the south and one up to the north. And some of the models were showing that the area of energy down to the south would take the energy from the north. That would keep us in a cold sector and provide us with snowfall. But now we're starting to see more of a consistent pattern where the northern part of the energy is going to be the main culprit, the main part of the system. And what that means for us, warmer air and less snowfall because the center of low pressure is going to be tracking north of northeast Wisconsin. However, once a cold front moves in here, any leftover moisture on the back side of that cold front will transition any of the rainfall that we see during the day on Wednesday back over to some snowfall. Now, this model does look a little bit aggressive. Seems like, oh, we could get quite a few inches of snow. 
I think it's a little bit overdone, but we still could see a light dusting of snow, maybe in an inch or so of accumulation. The best chance of seeing that snowfall will be far northwestern Wisconsin into northern Minnesota, and then it really trickles down as you head farther southward. Of course, things can change, and sometimes they do, so keep uh, up to date with us with NBC 26 for the latest. Michael Fish will have the latest tomorrow morning. 27 degrees for an overnight low temperature with some light snow moving in here. South winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow we'll get up to a high of 36. Winds coming in out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. That snow transitioning over to a little bit of that wintry mix. 35 on Tuesday, Wednesday getting up to 41. That will be the warmest high of the week. And then after that cold front moves through, those temperatures will be plummeting down to a high of 18 on Christmas Eve with maybe a little bit of light snowfall looking dry on Christmas high of 20. And then we start to rebound by the weekend high of 33 by Sunday. All right. Thanks, Gino and